like Soka Panda here. I have my appointments at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with y'all. So I know how much money I got left over I'm on my FSA. Y'all. I'm done. And depending on how much I got left over, I be in the Gucci's. That's right. In the Prada glasses. That's right. Treat yourself, honey. That's right. And in the, the Dolce Vendies. and Gabbana. That's right. Because you use it or lose it. Because so you're going to you use, use it. it or lose it. Maybe I'm that should be the glasses. name of the show. Use it or lose it. <laughs> Because since I haven't, never mind. <laughs> what? So, Excuse me? Oh, Finish that statement. Nah, 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 yo. nah. So, oh, you just gonna change the topic? Oh, you just and welcome the topic? to the Panda Gasm Show. <laughs> guys and <laughs> welcome back mm-hmm. i am your hostess with the mostest at the moment panda <laughs> <laughs> and i have my lovely co-host to my right big cap and the co-co-host to my <laughs> left i have netty boo <laughs> Woo-hoo. And my AV guy who is not doing our round of applause is cousin <laughs> Hobby. He's a whole fucking hater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, fucking late. There it is. There it is. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I appreciate the applause. Oh, thank you. Oh man, do we love you? I wish there was a, a camera showing media. you. Oh, Never. God. I wish there was a camera showing I'm you. I'm just gonna have to like sneak and have my phone. Yeah, I'm on a lot of shows. Side. Like not a lot, but I'm on a couple of shows right now, and I hate showing my face. A lot and of shows. And this is like the like one. You a celebrity. You I'm not the fresh air. Yo, so I love it. You so are much. a celebrity. Yo, you know what? If I'm a celebrity to you, Panda, then I do feel like a celebrity. Thank you. You're hey. welcome. Do your round of applause. Do your round of applause. Hey. Hey. That was such a... All right. So while we were playing the intro, we were over here listening to Miss Nettie Boo tell mm. us how if men don't use their penis, it shrinks. Yes. So, so go ahead. Naturally, I was doing some reading. And what were you reading? Re- <laughs> I don't know how I got it. Came <laughs> <from this>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, seriously. I don't, what were you reading? I don't know. You know, rabbit holes. I pro- True. Honestly, I, know I was probably holes. looking for kitchen countertops. And then I ended up here. I'm we are done. not going to talk about your kitchen countertops. Just go ahead. But yes, go ahead. So I remember reading that, um, you know, naturally men get erections. That's not any news. We all knew that. Mm-hmm. Um, and they get a, they have a certain amount of erections in their sleep and okay. a certain amount of erections during the day. Yep. But guys with the dysfunction that don't get erections, um, if a man doesn't get an erection within a certain time frame, mm-hmm. it actually causes their penis to shrink. <laughs> I don't know how true this information is. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many men out there are willing to be like, "Yeah, I measure my palele, and because I haven't had any of a JJ in this many weeks, years. hours, years, days, it shrunk this much." Ain't nobody know. gonna admit to that. They're Ain't not. They're not gonna men. admit to it because I know them. men be bored and be sizing up their palele. Like <laughs> almost right before I got. <laughs> yep, they do. Next to bananas and dumb shit. I really shit. feel yep. like I really fucking feel like like <laughs> yeah. fucking soda bottles. Just do Harvey, a dumb shit. Harvey, the fucking Corona bottle. Just do, do a do dumb shit. Do you guys shit. do that? Like at a certain age, y'all start saying like, you know how girls get together and we start talking. Probably compare bra sizes or whatever no, we did as teenagers. I don't do that. No, I don't lie. Don't lie. Like when it not comes now. Up, it's probably not around now like as a man. Teenage no, years. I know. I know. Years some, years when you so start I was never like me and my boys. We I, I never had that type of conversation with my people, the people that I was close with. I was close with, but I knew dudes that I wouldn't be surprised if they had that conversation. Like I know guys that watch porn together, right? Like 
Exactly. Like, <laughs> ex- Wait, and this is but is this that is a bad news. thing if guys watch porn together? It's weird to me, and I'm not Why? trying to be. Listen, it, no, no, you no, know okay. what? That's another topic two, for another no, day. Two, two, two heterosexual dudes in a platonic relationship. I, I personally think like, why are you guys watching porn together? Like, I watch porn to for a particular. I watch porn for a particular reason. I think most people watch porn for a particular <laughs> reason. What's your particular reason you watch it for? Is it to learn tricks? No. See? It's to get an extra aroused so he could, you know, do his thing. That's what it is. For research so my, so my, purposes. So my, my penis doesn't get smaller. And, <laughs> and what he is saying is why is he have his, why is he sitting there with his friend with his friend's penis is out and his, his, his penis yeah, is yeah, out. He just sitting there say hard that together. their penises were out. They were just watching porn together, but they yeah. could be doing research. Right. What if they take notes? But they, if dudes do that together, I'm pretty sure they, they might talk about it. They might so yeah. fight. But I've never been in that. I've never been. So you never measured it next to stupidity? Next to stupidity. I, when I was younger, like when I was, when you growing up That's in high what school we mean when you're and you're younger. like insecure and stuff like that. You're trying That's to not like, insecure. You're just measuring to see where you at. No, but here's the thing. Here's, all kids are insecure. Secure. And I grew up with porn. Like I had, I had the internet in middle school. So like I'm a kid growing into my body, whatever. And I'm watching these dudes like whatever. So until I became an adult or grew up as a kid, I'm like, all right. You might get the roller or whatever. Be like, oh, okay. You know, and you like year, year by year or whatever, right? As a kid, but as an adult, like grown ass height. man. Wait. Like that's, you can't, you're not going to do that. How far apart are we in age? Because I was in the seventh grade when the World Wide Web came out. I was at Latin Academy and yeah. my, my, my computer that's middle teacher. School. Yeah. I think grade. you're like two years older than me. Yeah. I had my first gateway computer in seventh grade and I had the internet. I had dial up. What year did you AOL? graduate? 2002. Oh yeah, I'm a one. Okay, so and we're I'm a year So you were already watching porn in seventh grade on the internet. Well, I wasn't watching porn. I was, I was at the time the, the internet, internet came out. It, it was now. too slow. No, no, I'm sh- because our I'm being vulnerable here. Listen, we had to flip the switch no. to 24B. No, 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 no. That's no. What we grew up with. So, so I, <laughs> we had to move the big. Yeah, screen you had TV to move the. I, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. Like I had, and I was the only child, and my mom uh-huh. had three jobs, so I had a like three thousand dollar computer in the hood. In seventh grade, and oh. you had dial up, so you couldn't watch it. So I didn't watch it. You'd have to like print yeah, out right, right, pictures right. and shit. Like I'm oh. printing. Yeah, as a kid, I'm I, I, old as I am now. I knew my mom knew. Like I had a <laughs> bunch of pictures under my mattress. I'm done with you. I'm <laughs> done. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm done. When King Al was younger, <laughs> I'm done. When King Al was younger, my pops, because you know when you watch porn, it comes on a cable bill. Yup. He was like. Justin, run up my cable <laughs> bill. <laughs> Yo, he was over here was sneaking watching porn. Yo, See, that's I'm why done. the internet was beautiful because they didn't know what it was. I knew not to hit that button <laughs> wrong or that shit was going to get charged. I knew not to. You just read that title and you keep it moving. You don't press no buttons. You read the title and you keep it moving. You keep it moving. You do not press no Channel buttons. 22, yep. 23, and 24. Mm. Shout right. out. Mm-mm. So you guys want to get down to, to the topics? Sure. All right. Wait, did we finish discussing what we were talking about initially to get oh, yeah. here about using oh, it and losing it? Oh, yeah. Because we don't even have anyone to tell us if they're really sword fighting. But if there's a guy out there who sword fights and you just be bored at home measuring your palele, like tell us, let us know. Send me an inbox on wherever. Have you noticed it's shrinking? Right. If you haven't had any. And you do um, not have a dysfunction? If you haven't had any JJ in do a long you have time. A dysfunction? And you do not have what a dysfunction. We just want to measure know. your palele and see if it's shrinking. Like we we're just know. curious. May I do cause, not want any pictures. No, thank you. This may cause yes or no is fine. Yes, my palele is shrinking. No, feelings, my palele is lights, not shrinking. I'm arms, doing just fine. The arm might fall off. Your oh yes, child you might disappear. Like your your <laughs> you know because you know all the side effects when they say Isn't about it? medication. Then they be like, may the side effects are, and they start off on nice, and it may cause stroke. Death, death again, <laughs> death again, stroke, you know and what? more death, and paralyzation. Wait, wait, hold up. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> we don't know, but I like it. <laughs> when they talk about the side effects of drugs. Oh, a shrinking. And I was talking about the side effects of them measuring their shit and actually coming clean and telling us it's going to come with depression and feeling smaller and things oh. like that. Yo, who do you, like, what dudes do you be chilling <laughs> with? Like, None. What do you mean? Damn. Yeah, yo, you need more guy friends. Cause Why like, do you say that? Because I think your perception of men is... <laughs> what perception? Is I didn't even pay- say anything. I was I, talking about side effects. Where did you come yo, with perception but you're like, of if, men? Like, if you're with a dude, like, unless he... What? I don't know. If you're with a dude, he's not going to be afraid to talk about his dick. 
Yeah, of course not. Why would he? So why would they be depressed about talking about their dick size? We're talking about we're talking if we about were about measuring the ones it and that, if you was dysfunctional yeah. and yeah. all that other shit. Yeah. The so side if effects you're dysfunctional, of the you're shrinking, you're going to feel depressed if you measure it. I guess. Just because you that are like... keeping up with the topic doesn't mean that Keep you need up. to come yeah, for bad. me. Up, Sit your ass in the back fucking yeah. audio, Javi. man. They Javi. was up here with it. They was following it. Side effects of Harvey comes with him being high as fuck, fucking up shit. Harvey, yes. drink water. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and mind your <laughs> business. All right, no, so... You know, we do talk about a lot of things that we try to hold people accountable for. Yeah, and- Harvey, coming for me. <laughs> and someone that Fuckish. watches, Fuckin'. listens to the show sent me an inbox where a woman was stating like toxic red flags of women in today's mm. modern day. Our AV Harvey guy, do you have that video ready? You probably don't. Mm-mm. No? He's so busy. All right. So there's mm. the video. Where the woman is talking about the four red flags that a woman... It sucks that we only got three. I know. The video only shows three, but there was four, and I was I'm really sad that the fourth one didn't get on there. So, are we ready to play the video? For Cole Energy. You hear a lot of women in the dating market saying when the right man comes along, you will not have to try. And although it's true that you won't have to try too hard, there's a difference between not trying too hard and not trying at all. You don't have to be thirsty. You don't have to come off desperate. But no man wants to be pursuing a woman that they feel is not giving them the same kind of energy in return. Number two, unrealistic financial expectations. Somewhere in the modern dating market, we have communicated to women that it is totally acceptable to expect a man to pay for their hair or their nails for a first date or to even go as far as to ask a man they barely even know to help them with their bills. Feeling entitled to lavish treatment or financial assistance from a man that you barely even know that's still trying to get to know you is an extremely unrealistic expectation. And social media has done a really bad job of making modern women think that that behavior is normal. Let me be clear, there's nothing wrong with wanting a man who's financially solid, but no man wants to feel like they're your walking ATM. Number three, immaturity and uncontrolled emotions. Immaturity, uncontrolled emotions, acting crazy, all of that has been rebranded recently. And there are a lot of social media channels out there that actually glamorize being toxic and encourage women to engage in this kind of behavior. When good men get a sense of that behavior, you lashing out, blocking their number, cursing them out, they either just stop taking you seriously from that point forward or they don't tolerate it altogether because you're coming across to him more so like a child who's throwing a temper tantrum than you are a woman who wants... Number one, not... So that was loaded. I wish we caught number four. But the first one was reciprocating energy. And um, someone did comment on that on the page. And for me, pretty much not getting energy reciprocated to you, they just don't like you. It is something that we just have to come to terms with. If Mm -hmm. you exchange phone numbers, Ray, 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 rah, 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 you're texting, you're calling, or whatever the situation may be. If whatever you're doing isn't being matched, their effort isn't matching yours, they just don't like you. Give up. Stop texting, stop calling, just leave it alone. They, Why? They because want you to people stop. find time yeah. for things that they want Anything to Anything that time people want to do, they will. Yeah. If they want to, they will. If they yep. want to talk to you, if they want to text you, if they're into you, they will. No matter how busy, how productive, how preoccupied, no matter what it is, they will reach out to you if they want to. Mm-hmm. So if they're not matching your energy, they just don't like you. Just take it as a, a lesson, not a loss. Because nothing in life is a loss, always a lesson. So And move on. You're agreeing with her. Because in the video, she's talking about the four toxic traits of women. Right. right. So you're agreeing with her. I am agreeing with women. her. Okay. okay. There are women that do do that. that. Yeah. And it Who is expect absolutely. all this extra attention, all this and extra, not giving extra, it back. and they don't do. Absolutely. They'll sit there and take a picture of the meal and not the person <laughs> that they had the meal with. Now I'm going to start doing that because, you know, until I got a ring, you don't need to know who I'm eating my meal with. But you know what I mean? That was extreme. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. no, no. I get you. I absolutely I think y'all being too specific. Don't. What? What? Here he go again. If you don't you hush your saying? mouth, you see what I'm saying? So He's coming life. for me tonight, and I don't because understand Because we all it. know that that's the riding joke and on I social media understand these it. days. No, that, what do you mean? That's, that's the little riding joke 
about women today. They they're getting free meals and they'll take pictures of their food, but not who's paying for the food. No, I didn't. I don't, you, you know, didn't I don't know that. I don't follow social. Oh, media. Yeah, that's true. You're you not really on. So that's why answer. you need to be quiet. Sit back now. See, drink water. Number two. Let me get you, do you need a bottle of water? Business? He does. He do you need a bottle? Does. I can yeah. get you one. He needs water. That's, that's not, not fair. It's not fair. He needs water from 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 the Lord Himself. That's who he needs water from. Black Jesus. Um. Okay. So um. What was number two? The second one was um. The second one was ah, um, unless like financial expectations, mm. unrealistic yeah. financial expectations. Yeah. Yes. Again, agree. so I agree with her. Again, I do see a lot of that. I don't. I don't know women like that personally, but they are out there because yeah. I, I see them on a lot the of them medias. all over the medias. <laughs> yes, they are out there. And but the thing is, the reason why they are out there is because there are men doing it. They can't exist if someone say. isn't allowing it to happen. To be fair, that is a whole lifestyle. Yeah, like, it there is. Are, there's a like group of people that consider themselves sugar babies. Yeah, there's a whole mm-hmm. website for them. So, so that's yeah. their lifestyle. And it's okay if you can't afford it. Just say you can't afford it. Right. And then go where, where you, you can, can go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> date who you that's can afford to date. Date within your, within your price range. Yeah. It's, if it's above your pay grade, admit it and keep it moving. Don't that's it. degrade someone because Wait, you can't bucks. afford it. That's it. And, and that's it. Lake. There you go. Canopy Lake is kind of expensive now. Because gas that? to drive up there? No. I'm done you with you. It's not that bad. Man, listen. OMG. Um, and I do agree with Instead that. I six there bucks. are six. Which one? The one here in Agawam or Jersey? Either. All right, let's stick to the topic. Okay. Oh. So or Spooky World. I just wanted to throw <laughs> something out there since we was going. Epcot on at Disney was amazing. You know, I bet it was. Yo, I loved Epcot the one time that I went. We need to go back as like, could you all imagine paying the gas? In Disney? Yes. Yes. Ep- Look at her yes. off topic. She ready yes. now. She ready now. Squirrel. I told y'all I got ADD somewhere. Because right, back to focus. What was number three? Wait, we got to still talk about number two because I do feel like there are women who are who were raised that way. Um, There's a lot of women that were taught that your JJ looks like a wallet. So therefore, you should never be broke. There should never be a reason yep. why there's your bills don't be that. paid. Yep. If yep. your yep. Um, pum pum looks like a wallet. Yeah. There's always this should always be Yo, money in it. Mm-hmm. It does. It does look like a, mm-hmm. it's a wallet. Mm-hmm. And so, but Yo. from time I was small, I used some to be people like a coin purse because I used don't to know feel like isn't bills. that like I'm a prostitution? Coin purse. <laughs> However, I don't know how to hustle men. I got a coin purse. I want to know. I don't know. My sis, my sis, she got a wallet. <laughs> she got a wallet. She know how to hustle, nigga. She got a she fanny can, pack. She used to try to teach me, and I used to try the little tricks. And it just, I just didn't have the heart. I didn't have the heart to play these games on the men I used to play, but they worked hard for their money like I did. And she was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just say this, this, and this. And I used to play, but I can't because then that means, and yo, it was like a whole thing. It was funny. I just couldn't do it either. There's probably- I didn't have the heart. I don't think there's anyone I've ever dated who's done anything like that for me. That is just straight wind and dying you and just no. was like, here, no. here. Here. And I never Here. expected it because I, well, the way my mom raised me, she always would say, you know, mother may have and father may have, but God bless the child that has his own. Mm. She's a pastor. So raised you know us how the that same goes, way. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in my mind, I'm going to have my own. Mm-hmm. If I want my nails done, I need money, my own money that I work for to get. Mm-hmm. If I want to book this flight, this is going to be my money to book this flight. So you never had somebody be like, take the day off of work and no. pay you? No, no, no. Outside of my brother? No. 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 <laughs> and even Not when my someone kid's and even when someone no. says, Oh, I'm taking you on a date or something, no lie. Wait, from I a man? make sure no. I have my money oh, too. From because I just don't trust always. it. I don't tr- I don't tr- cause I'm it's like how I've been raised. I'm like It's nah. called having vex money. <laughs> Guess what? You ain't about to stunt it's on me. It's called vex money. If just you get vexed case. and leave you there. You got your money. <laughs> Not even vex money. That's what it's called. I need to flex money. That's what that whatever is. Whatever it is. The fuck? Whatever it is. It's because he's vex. I'm so you need flex money and pay for when he's vex. Walk the fuck out like you little chump. Yeah. So you have to have your vex money when you, you little go on these chump. dates. So I've never, un, out, outside of my friends, my girlfriends, yes. I've had just because right. gifts for but my girls. But not men. But no. Really? Like a take really? a whole day off. So I'm or, curious uh, to know where are these men that do just because gifts? Where are these men that wine and dine? Because I'm lying. One person that I was talking to, he was like, you're going on vacation and I want you to not have to pay for your mannequin pedicure. And he gave me the money. 
he was like, I don't feel like, he's like, I know you don't like taking things from people, but you're going to take this from me. Mm. One time my whole entire life. You know, it happened. Yeah. If we're talking about just nails, then yes, that's happened where it was some bullshit. But, but I, and I wanted to that punch them in the like, face. That's, that's kind of no, no, no. Well, they did it to. Man. That was their way of shutting me up. Oh. It was on some bullshit, and I wanted to punch them in their face. I did take the money, and get my nails done, but I didn't gotcha. want to punch them after. I, I think was that night. I did try to punch them. Okay. And I don't like to ask for things. So first of all, like, listen. For me, I lead by example. I I show you how I want to be treated because I'm going to treat you dope as fuck. So I'm going to need you to reciprocate my energy. And then if I don't see it reciprocated, I'm out. Right. Yo, how much money do they have in their bank accounts? And that's the other thing. So that was the other thing. I told Amanda, I, I... this is a new thing where I set a standard of they got to make a certain amount. I don't ask how much they make. I have a I joke I ask how much that. they have in their bank account. Hold on. Let yeah. me tell you a joke about that. Someone that was interested in me was calling me while they were going to the teller. I love it. Go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> and when he ever did ask the teller for his balance in his checking account and yep. she said six dollars. Yep. Yep. Don't try to court me with your six dollars like, in your bank account. And how much is in the savings? And she was like twelve. I'm like twelve. Twelve. I'm don't like, try why? to run past that 12. twelve. I'm like, why didn't he get off the phone before he did $18? this embarrassment to himself? Eighteen dollars, <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Eighteen dollars. You, you on the phone with me? You have eighteen dollars to your boo. name in this $18. moment. Eighteen dollars, six dollars in one, only, and twelve in the other. Hold on, <laughs> wait. Now. What he had wait. in the bank. Wait, okay, that's we don't. All, right, that's right, that might be in a bank. bank. He yeah. may have had something more like in his pocket. He had a shoebox. Or he had a shoebox at home. Yeah. It was just the fact he the, did his voice sounded he extremely confident the way he was asking her. Right? Like he had something <laughs> no, to brag. Yo, because it ain't overdrawn. Because when she was like, <laughs> six, I'm in the back, like, wait, maybe you should be looking for a job. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> being on the phone trying to he ask me. He said it's not overdrawn, so he was but wait, excited. But wait, he was he is a five percenter and wanted to be wanted me to be one of his women. But how? How? Well, I have three with children. Six and twelve? Where are we going with twelve dollars <laughs> that you want to share me with someone? You don't have enough for you. Big emails. Wait. Wendy's big emails. And I I felt insulted. Five, I felt 10, like I 15. must have had nah, he can't ass even get written enough. on my forehead through the phone. I'm like And you were listening I mean, to this? Girl, was I was all, like was he thought he was courting you. When she that said the it. six, I was that like was the when, he he so about, so he when, when he ever so asked about the savings. When she said When he ever so asked about the savings. I, like, savings. I know how to ask. when I was in college <laughs> the first time. Yo, I'm done. When I was like 18, 19, I'm I had to call done. mom for some pizza money. I, I would have like yeah. 12, 18 dollars in the bank and I felt stressed out. And I lived on a dorm. I lived in a dorm. <laughs> I was chilling and I was, was stressed solid. out as a grown man. And somebody solid. told me I had 12 dollars in the bank. Yo. <laughs> My nigga. Let yo, me tell you. Yo, I'm, I'm selling not, crack. It's six in the other. <laughs> I'm buying 12 dollars or whatever you make crack with. 12 dollars in the bank. 25 dollars. And six dollars yeah. in the checkings, my G. <laughs> you can't even take that out the fucking ATM, my G. <laughs> because the minimum what? is twenty dollars. You can't even transfer you your money to the bank. bank. You, you know how you Kevin Hart was like, I gotta go. Do Let me my check my savings so I can so check my. You can't even transfer from the savings yo, to the check-ins to take out. Um, you can't. Nah, but yo, nobody on this. Con- <laughs> nobody in this conversation is rich. Let nobody in this conversation is rich. Done. This was last. So, yeah. This was. This was done. like a year and a half ago, maybe two years, right? Close to maybe two years I'm like done. during COVID and everything. It just shut up, Why Amanda. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> and then, so now I have them saved in my phone as do not answer. Yes. Because typically I would delete have people's phone numbers those. that I don't talk to. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, let me just delete. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. I don't want to delete, delete the delete number. Anymore, right? Can I say something? Yeah. You're supposed to take situations like this and make it fun. It was fun as hell. No, no, no. You should have saved him in his, in your phone as 18. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Six plus twelve. So, right. yeah. would have been yo, saved yo, in my phone at six plus yo, twelve. Let me change that. Do not answer to eighteen, so I can laugh every time. It's yo, six plus twelve. So here, here was my point originally, right? <laughs> what was your point? Yo, and plus, Amanda, we gotta you, get to you, number three. Amanda, you just killed it. You yo, killed it. Yo. But my point was, yo, a lot of 
not just men, a lot of people. This is this is the statistic mm-hmm. that a majority of Americans can't survive a five hundred dollar emergency. A five hundred dollar right. emergency will ruin them, right? Yes. yes. That's on average. Like and, and I believe that we are the, in terrible states with our monies. I believe that the average black American is worth like eight dollars. Yeah, well, probably I think it's less up, than though? that it in Boston. In Boston, in Boston is less than that. I think, I think our worth is eight dollars. You think Don't so? Or, or, it, but it's like that's like includes like Nigerians and stuff. Like I think it's probably even less for. Don't quote me on yeah. this statistic, but I believe. No, no, seriously, I'm Nigerians so make a, they're like a hundred thousand. So, so I, there's some people the that are like. I believe we're like many, $8. Well, I got a few five hundreds, you know, so I could right. survive a few. But that's what I'm saying. Few, but I don't yeah. want it. So More than I don't a few. Feel the and feudal. that's where, yeah. I, yo, and that's, that's the thing. I don't want to feel the few. And so I know so we're going I don't want to have nothing to prove. But legit, I looked at my shit and I looked at my sister. I was like, yo, I'm giving you this amount every single month. I was like, because this makes no sense why I don't have more than this in my account. Now, granted, I have more than six and 12. You better join us. I have more than six and 12. (laughs) However, 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 I, I know that I, especially with the blessing that I've received, and I'm just now seeing what the real blessing is going to be looking like. Yeah. I ain't even yeah, mad at you. Yeah, for my 40th birthday, it's going to be popping. But, but, but we got to get back to the that, topic. But, that, but that's my point. That. But that's my point. Like, we know the difference. A, a lot of us know the difference between having not a lot of money in your account and having a good amount. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of, right. you know, we're for, a lot of us are fortunate enough to be comfortable. Mm-hmm. And once I started being comfortable, it was nothing. It'd be like, oh, let's, 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 let's go somewhere. Well, right? Like, 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 let's, let's, do, hey. let's do something. Like, right? No, like, I but, but, but before, but before, right now, I'm yeah. oh, huh? right now. But, but before, but before it was like, we struggling. So a, a lot of dudes, bro, they struggling. I get so, it. I so, understand that. But yeah. again, six if, and you're, 12. if you're not financially stable for yourself, yeah. I do not think you should be dating. Don't but be how, pursuing. But there's a lot of dudes that are financially stable, like, so you're why, saying what, choose better that's what you're telling us yeah, to do that's what i'm saying and so that's, that's why i no longer say? speak to him because i am choosing better yeah she has so an her phone at six and twelve what was her <laughs> 18 what was her <laughs> well do you guys remember what she said the third one was yes yeah, stop bratting out oh yes yeah, i've been a brat so yeah if you're flattening tires keying cars that i bust the windows out your car <laughs> i'm doing my best to stay off social media because Cause every time it's sad. Every time I log on, it's something crazy. There's another rest in peace. And I'm just like, oh my God. Every time I watch the news. Somebody's baby. That's somebody's something. That's somebody's uncle, sister, brother, cousin. And I'm just like, oh. They're looking for a car now from a hit and run. I just, I cannot. Um, our world needs some serious healing. <laughs> I'd be thinking of Michael Jackson's song, Heal the World. <laughs> like, I get it now. This shit makes sense Yo. what they were singing about back then. And it's crazy because if the stuff is still being sang about today, we're really not doing better as a people. No, we're not. Because our singers have been singing about this for the longest time. They've been singing about this for generations. What's that man? Um, uh, the gay guy. Something gay. Marvin Gaye. What song did he sing about peace in the world? <laughs> I love when you do that. That's why I'm laughing. Because you, like, it's, it's, you know where you're trying right to go with it. Song with yes. Talking about. He has a really nice song about peace in the world. Then I could see him spinning. Oh my God, I see the video in my head. Mm. And everybody knows what song I'm talking mm. about. So you, I don't either. You do. I wish mm-hmm. Venom was here because she is my walking I. I um iPod. iPod. <laughs> yes. iPods are so old. They're no. finally stopping them, you know. Finally? This is the I yeah. thought they stopped them a they long were time still, ago. No, they were still making them, but they're finally gonna like stop, stop, stop. Like it's gonna be like done, done. Like so they're gonna end up being like super expensive. I don't want one. You should do don't lie. We just have to do better as a people. And um, R.I.P. to take off. Rest in peace to uh, anybody who lost someone this year, anyone that's grieving, anyone that's lost someone anytime. R.I.P. to my cousin. Yeah, oh, it's just yeah. it's just been crazy. I there were four funerals today. But mm-hmm. I, I you went to said one. That. There were four funerals, and it's just like and your cousin went to two <laughs> in one day. Like, yeah. so there's crazy. that. So right now, everybody I feel like should be finding their happy spaces, their happy places, and Keep loving yourself, up on their family. Keep yourself happy because there's a lot of sadness in the world. Yeah, tell people you love them. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm mad weird with it. I'd be like, "Hey, girl, I love you, boo." 
No, see, because you be on that perv. Like, why you gotta look at them like a perv when you say So it? you only get the look because you're sitting next to me. You don't get a look through text. Give, give Nettie Boo the look. I love you, boo. See, you it's all about perspective. Ridiculous. It's all about perspective. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's no, all about I think you give her different. You don't give. You don't give her the full look. I give look. everybody the same. Nah. Like, I love you, boo. I'm done. See? I'm done. Why? Some people might take offense to it. Some may not. If you <laughs> don't, just accept it. Just receive the love. Just receive it. No. Just receive the love because we all need some love right now. There's a lot mm-hmm. of people that need some hugs, and I think if we could just do one big hug. Everybody would be a okay. Just really? one big road hug, and then a big booby hug from all three of us. If we could just hug yo, the we world, we are all big boobied. What we could hug the world. You, they are ain't small. I do not have big boobs. All right, they are not small. So we're not gonna go into disagreements. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to lie to the world and try to front like they're a cups, you can go ahead. As long as you feel like oh you're convincing yourself, life. that's all that matters. I've had to fight exactly because they ain't small. <laughs> oh, but go as ahead long and lie as to you yourself. Are convincing yourself that is all that matters to me. Seriously, that's the worst when you lie to yourself. No. no, it's it's the worst when you lie to yourself and you believe it. So do she's, you believe that she has that to. You have a cups. No, I'm the one that oh, lies okay. my bra. I'm the one that buys. Oh, okay, we just want so to make sure. I'm the one that buys my jacket. Perspective is everything. Okay. Okay, we just wanted to make sure you know. Perspective is definitely life. everything, and if you believe from your vision with your beautiful glasses that, that okay. you are an A cup, then you're an A cup. Because the society that we live in today, all you have to do is feel. Yo, all I remember is your thing. epiphany from your eye doctor appointment <laughs> from the last show. Yo. I need an, I need to make my eye appointment. Bro, I need have to have one of those already, epiphanies. Go watch the last show because that was hilarious. That Yo, show had me in stitches. I need to like, have an epiphany like that. Like I'm about stitches. to book every appointment. I'm about to book a dental and an eye. Like I want to be sitting in the chair just expecting, looking around like, where's my epiphany going to hit? When am I going to have a moment? Were you high when you did it? I was high. Okay, so I got to make sure I am because I want the same epiphany. I'm going to be sitting there looking around like, where's my epiphany? And when, and when I get they're done, I'm going to look at them all sad. Like, where's my epiphany? <laughs> I get the chills when I get my epiphany, too. I get chills. Like, my hair is on my arm. Stands at the up. eye doctor, you was getting chills? Girl, I do. Oof. Y'all got to watch that last one. <laughs> watch I'm last. telling you. I I'm hope that they you. did watch the last episode because I think I watched it. Someone told me that they watched it four times. <laughs> because, yeah. It was pure entertainment. So, all right. So, now that we finished discussing. What do we Mm, 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 don't look at me because I ain't ain't gonna keep you on track now we we gave a R.I.P. to everybody Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Um, violence that's what we were talking about we got super sidetracked but yes super sidetracked you don't have anything to say condolences and love and and hearts and, and all that Mr. Yeah, Hunt. AV, you hop in on every damn thing else. I've been getting y'all there all night. I'm <laughs> chilling. Yeah, be quiet. Yeah, How much time quiet. we got left I, with I the peoples? He ain't even keeping up. How much he time we got left with the peoples? Exactly. How he much time we got care. left with the peoples? We have two minutes left with the peoples, 20 minutes left. So guess what, guys? It is November. Mm. We are in, we are going into How did we get here, though? To my house? No, to November. Oh, <laughs> it was just to October. September. No. Yes. So October after was like t- 2022 a breeze? is ghetto. I'm out. It was a breeze. October was like, I'm coming in and I'm leaving. The whole year said I'm coming in and I'm leaving. Nah, but October. This year Certain did not Certain months play. took their time Certain and stuck their around. Like, yo, this October, year you looked and it was gone. no games with us. This year played no games. This year was like, y'all better get your shit together because I'm get in my mouth. together. This whole year was mm-hmm. like the month of March. Mm. It came in like a lamb and out like a lion. Mm-hmm. Yo. Mm-hmm. This year was going out with a, a banger. With a banger. With a banger. And, um, all I could do is say, yo, stay prayed up, stay meditated up. Um, stay positive. There was something I was about to say to y'all. Y'all be ready for the last week of December. I'm trying Damn. to figure out what I'm trying to do. So y'all yeah, can, your birthday. You know, and we decided when we're going to do the live. We are going to do a live. When did we decide? December <laughs> 12th? 19, 16, 16, 16, December 16th, 16, we decided 16, that we're going to do a live. We want a live a audience. It's a Friday, so it'll be after and work. And we're going to so make sure we drinks. keep repeating this in December. We're going to have some music. So y'all want to meet us there? 
We're going to have a nice live DJ playing some upbeat music. In person? Yes, in person. Food, We're going to have drinks. vendors, food, drinks. So make sure you tell your friends to tell a friend to tell a friend that Pentagasms is going live. Just mark live. it down now. We'll keep reminding you because you're going to want to be there. Yes, we're going to have a nice panel going. We're going to have some men talking about some things going on in the black man community. Because mm. we love y'all and y'all deserve to grow old because, God, I love y'all and y'all, and y'all are so beautiful. Y'all deserve an outlet. You do. You mm-hmm. deserve an outlet because we don't get to hear black men's side. We usually get to hear well, or you have the ah, da, da, yeah. da, da. nah. We want to give y'all that room to talk. They you know, I'm space. going to talk my shit. Yes, you but know, it's big respectfully cat talk and it's in a dope way. It's right. not no. It's I'm all from love. At you. It's to so make you laugh. You don't know? take her anyway. Crazy. Exactly. We're also going to have cards to tell you when to clap. And Ooh, when to be sad. could y'all imagine? <laughs> clap. We yeah. might be in a white and shit. <laughs> And then we'll be like, say, oh, oh no. Womp, womp, or something of that Sadness. extent. Yeah, sad. There we go. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're in November, and typically when we get to our end of the year shows, we do whatever type goals that we have that we're looking forward oh, to the next year. The yeah, I am putting y'all on the spot. Um, And remember, throughout, throughout, maybe every three months or so, every three to six months, we talk about the things we were trying to hold ourselves accountable for during the year. Are you really going to put and me on the spot again? That. Yes, it's November, Who's y'all. Who's going to remember so, that? You, I don't know what this is. What accountability is I about? I might need to start writing shit down because you. This is what accountability is about, though, right? Do you have? Do you want yes men in your crews, or do you want people to be like, hey, yo, we don't no, do no, no, stagnation? No, no. I'm not so, saying don't hold me accountable, but so I we don't remember do stagnation. What, which, which, what we? You so, remember what we said? I remember what I said. Do All you three and four. You yes, said? I See, remember what I said is, for it's my not goals. Just what you said, it was. It's actually supposed to be things that are important to you. So right. It wouldn't be about remembering. What it you is said. about just, remembering. What I'm saying is, just speak for today. You get so right. The and person that so, goes back to the old episode to compare it to, to today. <laughs> right. So for me, because someone's we'll gonna pull to it back later. up, yo. Because somebody's yo. gonna be like, "This you." <laughs> this is what you said. This is what you said you're going to be doing. Because you know, Black you Twitter is good for it. that. If you we ever get it. that big on Black Twitter, they're going to be like, doo, 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 doo. they going to look me this up. You? I don't give a fuck. Look me up. This you? And I don't like, remember Damn. what I said. Damn it. So, yeah. Um, it doesn't matter. Just speak for today. <laughs> exactly. I agree with you with, about speaking for today. However, you still have to hold just. You, you have plans, you have goals that you're holding yourself accountable for yeah, that you know you want in my reach. notebook but i don't know if those were the same things that i said on here at the time but that's the thing with growth we're growing every day exactly so something that you may have wanted when we talked about it we're in november we probably discussed it early summer yeah like you may not even have that same goal anymore it's not remember one we've of them? experienced so many things from the summer till I now dropped that goal I we've did. experienced so many things we've We've gained things. We've lost things. So our so talk about right you. Now. Let's go. Let's go. Because you remember yours. Which what was your? So mine was. I was just staying consistent. Remember when we did the? If it don't make money, it don't make sense. Yep. And we had yep. all the financial people on there and the health experts. And mm-hmm. that's when I was like, you know, I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take my life serious. COVID is here. So I feel like I've gotten a decent pattern. I just want to stay consistent with that. I want to stay consistent with my self care. I want to stay consistent with balancing my family life, my friend life, my social life, my personal life. Like. Just, it's a lot. It is a lot. Mm-hmm. Finding a healthy balance for life is just all I'm really working on. Like, that's my ultimate goal. Finding a healthy balance where I don't feel like I'm going up the wall. Like, I don't know my ass from my elbow. I don't want to feel like that. I like trying to have a healthy balance in life. And certain things, I feel like when you work on that one particular area, you end up slacking in another. Because so, it's a million different yeah, things. Yeah, there's so yeah. many things happening at once. So I just feel like I need to consistently work at finding a healthy balance in all the areas of my life so that they can, you know, of course there's going to be moments where I slide back and that's expected. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if I keep the healthy Allowing balance, yourself I wouldn't, grace. yeah, giving myself grace. I won't mm-hmm. feel like I'm going crazy. Have some me time, have time with my friends, have time with my children, have time with the whole family together. You know, I think having all of that is important. It and is. as long as I remain consistent Absolutely. with finding an equal balance for that, I feel like I'll be okay. Because a lot of my me time is waking up early and having my meditation and going to work out. Like, that's my me time. Mm -hmm. You know, so once football season is over and volleyball season is over and I get to have my Zumba and all of that, I'll be able to 
feel like I'm balanced out again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I am still working mm-hmm. out, but I don't. I'm not having Zumba. Yeah, and Zumba for me is my carnival. Once, yes, once a yes. week. <laughs> my yes. once a week carnival that's your wine. that exactly. I need. You know, I yep. need that. I yep. need that. Yep. So I've never been to Zumba class. It is. Carnival. It's lit. It's carnival for me. You know, and that's my fix. You know, financially, I'm not able to pick up and travel every week or mm-hmm. hit every single carnival around Island. the world. If I could, if I could get paid to carnival hop, I would be a professional carnival hopper. Imagine because I enjoy that. a carnival you know influencer. Yo, Imagine, and there's people out there getting paid for that. I just don't have the time nor the money to do it because there's other things that are are a priority for me. Mm -hmm. That I would love to do it when my kids are older, like the twins, once they're done with school or whatever and they're settled in their adult life. I would absolutely love to be a carnival influencer. I think I'd have the time and the money to do it then, but right now it's not a priority. But I would love, 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 love. Yeah, because you have your beautiful business. Right, and my mm-hmm. schools will be flourishing. And your soca lime things. that's yes, coming up. my fundraiser that's coming up. The karaoke. The soca karaoke. Can, okay, so can we clarify whether or not it's only soca songs? No, there won't be only soca songs because it is a family event, and I know a lot of kids want to sing, let it go. <laughs> and we don't talk about Bruno. No. You know, I'm looking the forward to or... the adults and the kids. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. Because I want to sing Disney too. <laughs> and baby I shark and all babies. that. Like I want to do all of that. I want to. I want all the adults to let their inner child out. So I do want this to be a great family experience. Um, so yeah, I I want this to be a great. Time. And so an event, bright people go find it. Yes, Panda Cares, Soka Karaoke. So a quick, quick, transparent moment um, mm-hmm. about Panda Care that I don't think a lot of people know. So I did do a pitch with um an organization and they did grant me 50,000 but I had to find a location. I didn't find a location because the city of Boston is crazy for the rent. Mm-hmm. And the minimum I I need is 1800 square feet and everything was like 3500 a month for rent. Mm-hmm. So my time ran out and they had to reallocate the funds so I didn't get it. And that's why I don't have a building yet. So I'm back to ground zero, which is okay with me because I feel like if I did it once, I can do it again. And I'm just as I'm learning this entrepreneur life, like this shit is so hard. When I see people out there doing their thing, I I always want to support an entrepreneur because I know what it's like to want to expand and want to grow and have to get that that no before you get your yes. <sighs> or get the yes and then have to give it back in the yes, no. Yes, you know what I mean? Like all the ups and the downs, the roller coaster ride mm-hmm. of being an entrepreneur. Yo, this life is crazy. Whoever said owning your own business was easy, they lied. And not that anybody said that to me because when I said I wanted to own my own business, they, they was all like, told you you was crazy. You it's crazy? a lot of work. Yeah. You have and kids. You and, just, and, yep. and I'm like, but I don't want to work for nobody. Mm-hmm, I don't want to mm-hmm, do that. Mm-hmm. It's hard, but I appreciate it. I love every, every no just makes me get back up like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to get a yes. I don't care I'm how so long it takes. I'm going to get a yes. I'm going to get my building. So, so proud so, of you. That's just, I'm just trying to keep consistent with finding a healthy balance. That's honestly my only goal for probably the rest of my life. Just finding a healthy balance when I go back to school so that I don't feel overwhelmed and crazy. I can still hang out with my friends. I can still be with my family. I don't want to go mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. It's f- not going to happen when you have that school and it's all right. You just got to come to terms with that. That's I am. It. And I'm prepared. You got to come to terms to minimize certain things. Yeah. Once that I'm prepared comes for in, the solitude. I already know. Ooh, child. Yeah. I'm prepared. You I'm going prepared for the, for the moments of solitude. Ooh, yep, child. going for my masters. Mm-hmm. I'm prepared. Be ready. I am. So, I am. so instead of trying to fix all this right now, you better start enjoying all of it, swimming it, baby. That too. Because I once you start that again, I'm once milking it. I'm milking it. Start that again. I'm milking this, point. and this is all I want to do. Swim I just want to milk it because it. these moments like this are so far and in between. You have to milk mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to milk it. That's my only goal, honestly, from now until whenever. I'm just trying to find balance. I know that I said balance. I was going to do my um, my own YouTube page and yada, yada, yada. So that was one of the things that I know was on my goal. But I changed my fucking mind. Yeah. I don't want y'all in my business like that. I feel like I feel like this is enough. It takes so much work to do that. And I just don't have the energy right now. I'm learning to really not overextend myself. It's unhealthy. Um, it's not fair to myself because with me being an underhanded perfectionist, it will irk my soul that I'm not giving my all to something that I done started, that I done envisioned it being amazing. And then I know I'm not focusing on it because I got this homework or I just want to sleep or 
You know what I'm saying? Or I'm doing the podcast or, you know, there are other things that I feel are more important than me just talking about me. I get that I'm funny and everything. I love my family and everybody who's, you know, in my corner to do it. It may, it may happen one day, but right now, no, that's not my focus right now. You know, eventually we're going to get this foot page popping. Take those feet pages. You know what I'm yes. saying? Get that money coming but in from Nia. What? But even that takes energy. Even it does. that takes time. And that's why I've, I've slowed down with that too, because I'm looking at my timeline for when I'm finishing up school, which will be next spring, yes. you know, so no later than next summer. So with that said, I'm like, yo, I want to make sure I finish out what I need to finish out, put in my little papers for my graduation. Yes. Spend my little 150 on yes. that. I know we're that close. Yes. Like we're that close. So we are close. We're there. Yeah. And you know what? I makes me so happy. The, sa- the same that's, way. And that's yeah. Like the same way Nedra just had that look in her eye when she was like, "I'm proud of you, Panda. I'm proud of you that you was able to be like this YouTube thing ain't for me right now. Not right now. It's, I'm not I'm saying that pause. it's not gonna ever happen. Because I'm I happy am lit. that I am you lit. were able to come up with that yourself when you came in that day before we recorded. And you was like, "Yo." I can't do the YouTube page. I'm not. It's not for me right now. And I was like, yo, I respect that. I respect honesty. It was giving me stress One thing and I appreciate from people is honesty. <laughs> Dating gives me anxiety. I love honesty. Seriously. I love honesty. When yo, somebody is to be like, yo, this doesn't I work for me. I know that she's in my corner all the way. Right, because I'm not going so to. I have I know to how you her. get overwhelmed. Yeah, and I have to say, listen, and no, we're going to slow down right now. Because you know, and it's such and it's such in a good way. It's such in a good way because it's like, bitch, so, gas petal. Question, petal, question. Gas petal. So is it, is it, because really it doesn't take that much time. So is oh, it, here is we it, we go. go. <laughs> see, see. See, no, we want you to go. Yeah. Here we go. Is ahead, it because it. you don't have the time or is it because of the anxiety? Because a lot of people say it's a little bit of both. Because like, I think it's that the, it's the judgment that comes with it. Yeah. Who cares? Who gives a it's shit? the judgment, anxiety and the time. Yeah. But that, and that's what anything. I think that stops a lot of people mm-hmm. from doing what they like. Yo, do and love. I quit my job to start my business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If anybody asks me why. With I did round that of applause. Shit, oh. Yeah, get it together. Uh, like, you're such a loser. Yeah, but I don't... For me, that ain't shit to me. Like, <sighs> to you, you do you know how many people wish they can quit their job? And you need to yeah. stop playing. And no, do but their I'm, passion I'm not, for work full-time? Give yourself the credit you deserve, I, no, and I pre- no, I appreciate that, and I appreciate everybody that, that's in my corner. But at the end of the day, yo... I, I get what you're saying, though. I can't, I can't be managed. Like, I can't work for somebody. Like, a nine-to-five for me... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna sound real cocky. It's easy as shit to me. Like mm-hmm. I, I've done a lot of things in the corporate world, in the scientific realm, and stuff that, like, that shit. If I told people what I'd really do, because I do things, I stay low key, right? You'd be like, oh, that's crazy shit. And a lot of people that look like me, right? They're in this room right now, and outside this room can are capable, are way smarter, way more capable than even I am, right? I know that because I, because I know them. Mm-hmm. But the only thing stopping them from taking that next step is, yo, people aren't going to like it. I'm not good at this. It's it's too much. It's that. It's this. It's that. There's a lot of ways that we psych ourselves out by yeah. doing some dope ass shit. Yeah. And again, it's a gamble. You That's can fuck up. That's why I said up. not now. Yeah. yeah. Imposter right. syndrome. Period. So step back. That's why Imposter. I said not now. Nah, I'm so, talking, yo, you you gonna feel the same? You gonna yo, you gonna go to sleep tonight? That's why I said you not now. You gonna go to sleep tonight? That's why I said not now. <laughs> your eyes gonna and open so, after your little so, rim army and sleep. So and audio right. man, can we get the crickets? Because you know, right. uh, hobby is just talking, just just a talking. I love this hobby. Like, was right. but when we you were trying to get him on the show, he wasn't doing all this talking. Now he just because he's not on camera. He just you know what I'm saying? Like you're doing all you're doing the most. You doing the most. Stop fucking chimney over there. Fuck them whole train of thought. Now, like I was saying, huh? Before a nigga still try to. This is what I mean. They be trying to force the YouTube. They literally be trying to force the YouTube. When you're ready, you when will. When I am ready, I will get the YouTube a popping. Just up. like we said earlier. Master. I ain't trying to force that. And Master. honestly, that was just a general statement. Like a lot of people. No, but I like, and the thing, if you guys is, are talking about y'all come up when I said I was gonna quit my yeah. job. I'm sure a lot of people. Would, I don't know if they did because I don't give a shit. Like, I that doesn't even go what? into was like, oh, wow, like, don't do that. Like, you have nah, a good job. Why we would you know go? you lit. Yeah. 
Oh, I pr- so and that's who, why I fuck so with y'all, and I know y'all that. are lit. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like the yeah, way y'all no, know. I get that. When I'm ready, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when I'm ready, step back, any, step back, yo, step back, step back. So ready, defensive. step Damn. back. Nah, what I'm saying is, you rushing people. Let people do it when they ready. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Now, but, 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 but we and making then my billions. Other goals because we talking about me right now. You we know, are. Javi just kept getting. See, this is why this YouTube page. You know, when I'm ready, y'all forget I'm Can I be a co-host? Like. I want to be her co-host. Nah, that don't work that way. Mm-hmm. Yo, you can't be a co-host. And you know what's of funny? Tima asked, Ben asked, but no, we we gonna talk about it. But it's not even now. Anyway, stop it. Anyway, um, yes. And then my other goal is the house for forty. Forty is my goal. So I got the two years because I'll be thirty eight this year. I cannot believe I'm gonna be thirty eight. I feel twenty eight, but what else? You um, look twenty eight. I don't believe you're thirty eight. That's that's just wild to me. The only and time I remember, be 40 in June. yo, facts. Like the only time I remember my age is when I look at my nieces. Because again, I don't have children, so I can't look at them and say, "Oh, I'm old." You know, I look at my nieces like, "Yo, I used to rock y'all." Like y'all's my. I babies. do both, and they're grown now. Like they're grown, grown. Like could have their own children grown, and I'm like, "Damn, I can't my, believe you're 38." My yeah, oldest niece just I had will her be baby. in December, two months. Yeah. yeah. And yo, it's funny because my niece is over here like putting things on me. She's like, you're going to have your baby at 40. And I was like, oh, okay, we're going to see how that works. But my goal is the house. I just I've... want to babysit everybody's kid. House, house. So yeah, now these goals that I'm speaking about, I'm not going to forget because these are real life things that I absolutely want dearest to my heart. So, And anything you desire, everything your heart desires, you're going to get it. You're going to obtain and it. And saving, saving better. Everything your heart desires, you're going to get it. All of it. All of it. Because I'm manifesting it. I be journaling <laughs> it. I be praying it. I Pens be crying paper. about it. I be putting it in the Bible. I be doing all that. Once you put that pen to paper, it's from your mouth to God's ears. Listen. Girl, it's coming. Listen. It's here. And auntie be it's intercessing. Here. Just all of them. It's here. Cousin. Mm-hmm. Uncle. What are we so, doing? Now? Come on, Nettie Boo. You next up. Come on, Nettie Boo. Tell us about these mm. goals that we about to mm. manifest. My goal is to remain happy. <laughs> oh. Because you know what? That is a whole job. It is a job. That is a whole job to be happy. To be happy. That's part of the balance in life. Yeah, it's that's one of my balance. daily goals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, boundaries. Mm-hmm. It's um, organization. Mm-hmm. It's planning. Because that brings um, so much decision peace. decision making. You know? Hard decision making. Decision, yeah. Because decisions so, aren't always easy. They're not easy ever. Yeah, they're not. Sometimes I get you have so to have a lot of drinks. I annoyed when I have to buy pillows. Because why the Wait, fuck what? do we have so many options? Pillows. I get upset about anything. This is why I don't go in the store. Pillows? Stores yes. overwhelm me. You mean When's throw the last pillows? Time you went to, no, no, no. Or bed pillows. pillows. To sleep, bed pillows. When's the oh. last time you went down? Like, why do last we year, have so many pillows? Casper, yo, get the original set. Them joints are dope. Passion. You heard it in his voice, in his throat. He really for the Casper, the Casper. And they're really easy to clean. You could like pull them apart and clean them. Wait, you pull yeah. the pillow apart? The yeah. Casper pillow, like a monkey bro. bread. Let's let's Yo, so stay on track. Him? With Do you hear him? Nettie Boo's goals? Because I don't know <laughs> pillows, what's going on Nettie right now Casper. Go ahead. Pillows that we pull um, apart. But yeah, so honestly, that's always the goal. Um, I have some like house projects that I want to get done. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, just be happy. Like buying the house was a blessing, but I feel like it was a tornado. I think you. I feel like it was a tornado, and I'm finally settling back into like a routine of like self care kind of thing because you know you prioritize, prioritize, right? Yeah. And and it was a blessing. Yeah, it was. Because it it was. You got the desire but it became of your a heart. major focus for a while. You got the desires of your heart, girl. This is absolutely because guess what? The truth. You have distresses because you get to have a house. This is true, and I tell myself that. Yeah, I tell this myself is a this good stress. Time, you know what? I just I lived in an apartment complex prior to buying a home, and I just wanted a yard. So when I get frustrated, I go stand in the fucking yard that you finally got. That's mm-hmm. all you wanted, right? Mm-hmm. So now you got when good I get upset, problems, I go stand in the yard. Be happy. You got yes. this. You got your yard. Yeah. It's so. a it's an oxymor- oxymoron to have it good is. problems. It is. Yeah. When somebody be like, oh, yeah. you got good problems. I'm like, you're right. Yeah. But it's and still I a problem. It's still too. a problem, like, yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm still trying to figure this out. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a good problem, though. 
Keep talking about your problems. But it's a good way problems. to check yourself. It it's is a, a good way to check yourself. It's a good yourself. way. To, it, it's a good way. It's something that I used to check myself. I check myself. You get to go like, home. You get to go at, to your home. And that's what I love about us. We find the blessing in everything. Let me tell you something. Life is hard. It's crazy. Don't say we have to because there's plenty of people who don't find the blessing. They don't, and that's why they're not. They are just negative. We know that we as individuals, as human beings, to progress and to prosper in life, we have to find the brighter side to things. Of us, you're gonna cry yourself into a pit. You have to like allow to keep wants them to crying. Hear the, those those negative ass fucking posts all right. the time. You don't want to see that. You don't want to contemplate that because what you give attention to is what will will thrive. thrive. Thank you. Yes, if you don't give it life, it can't it can't live. You don't Except give the ZZ fire plants. air. ZZ. ZZ plants. You just put them in a corner. So I'm them. done with you. I love my ZZ plant. I named her Zillow. Mm-hmm. Because she's going to be in my house that I've been looking on. On Zillow, <laughs> Zillow I'm done. She said, listen, I'm manifesting my Zillow. Listen. That's right. That's right. Listen. That's right. Listen. That's right. You got to speak prosperity. Right. You got to speak Bo. life into Nettie yourself. Bo. Go ahead. Yes, Finish. Get those goals, um, girl. Was that it? Just yeah. a happy? That was it. Just happy. be happy. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. know what it is? Happiness is a state of mind. So your version of happiness is a different version for me and it's a different version for her. And everybody just needs to understand that. Everybody's level of happiness is different. Like, I live in a whole entire fairy tale. That's my level of happiness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my happiness. Yeah. So you can't be mad. About, some people's happiness is a video game. That Let them have their happiness. Yeah. This is a crazy time. We're living in crazy times right now. Yeah. If you don't find your own happiness, if you continue to attach your happiness to people, mm-hmm. by the time that person leaves, you won't be happy anymore. You have to really and truly find your own happiness. Yeah. You do. It's true. Like I'm I'm not I don't Like any- what genuinely makes you feel happy, yes. full. Like you just Fulfilling sit and you things. just smile and I you keep just saying that to you people. feel like a big kid. I like, only want to do fulfilling things. I can't even lie. I got so high at one point. God forgive me for saying this on this podcast. <laughs> she forgave but you. I got so high and I was like, I was driving and I was like, look at all the leaves falling. It's like snow, but with leaves. It's just so pretty. And I was sitting there like, does anybody else notice the leaves falling and how beautiful this is? And then I was like, but wait, what if that was snow? That would be terrible because that would be a lot of snow. But it's not. It's leaves and it's just so pretty. And like, we're like driving through these falling leaves. Like, does anybody else take time to admire nature? I absolutely love Mother Nature. Let me tell you something. I saw no, that whole I geek over the moon. thing. Like, I love the moon. Like, I'm watching it transform into a full moon. Everybody right has certain I love things. Mother Nature. And it's great that we have this special interest of mm-hmm. Mother Nature together because... Mm-hmm. Since we're all moon babies, this is going to be wonderful for us to just look out at the stars one night. And maybe we could record looking out up at the stars. <laughs> with the leaves falling. With the leaves falling. I love the leaves. With the leaves falling. <laughs> so with that being said, we do, <laughs> I do specifically, genuinely care and want everyone to find their happiness during mm-hmm. all these difficult times. There's a lot that's going on. A lot of us are mourning. A lot of us are going through a lot of emotions. There's a lot of ups and downs happening. The holidays are coming. Find some type of happiness. Find your own. It's a lot happening today explore different things world. don't be close-minded be adventurous paint draw be eventful, listen to music dance run. like nobody's watching yes if put I on your favorite means, i know what that means of music listen, it's true if it's one thing about me i'm gonna dance mm-hmm. i'm gonna make up a song if it sounds like a I song feel like sing. music is the one thing is. that universally heals let me tell you something i think it was bob marley that said music has no friends or no enemies mm-hmm. i think so I believe so. Be I just feel like it's the right thing to do. It is. Music. Just find your happy place. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want everybody to find inner peace. Yes. Because without inner peace, you can't sleep at night. The and I like daughter. to have eight to ten hours of sleep at I'm night. I'm done with you. <laughs> I'm done with sleep you. Sleep is wonderful because if you don't get any sleep, you're like a toddler. I'm F-R-E-E. You're like a toddler. Nigga. In oh, the- yeah. Ain't, ain't, so get sleep. Ain't. Find some happiness because happiness is a state of mind. And with that, peace, love, prosperity. Like, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, and subscribe with that. Good night, everyone. Thank you for listening.